So yeah, give me something that you think I will. Folks, we're at least uh, five to schedule. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Councillor uh, Clown, who's here. Thank you for joining us tonight. And Councillor Fletcher uh, will be coming along shortly as well to join us. Um, I'm, I'm uh, quite happy to report that uh, this is not the last public meeting. Uh, there, will be, there will be an initial public meeting uh, this summer. Uh, we have had great work done by the team on the costing, on the planning, on the hydrology and so forth. Uh, and we've got a lot of that stuff pinned down, but in fact, uh, on the uh, revenue side and the funding side, it's much more complicated than we thought. And I really want to take the time this summer to get it done right. I think John will explain a lot more in detail about that because there are certain kinds of costs and things that uh, are different. But uh, I think uh, my, my remarks are really just to let you know that we will have another round probably in August going to the September Executive Committee meeting of council. There's an October full council meeting and that's when the report will be issued. And so we've got more work to do and we will engage you in that process. So thank you again for coming in today. John? in the last of the meetings, uh, we will have now the opportunity to go to a September meeting of the executive, which leads to an October 2nd council meeting, and uh, that will be very helpful. We felt uh, very much under the gun on the project. The business plan was late in materializing. We'd actually asked the consultants to start to break some down some of the cost by precinct that added another dimension to it, and we've been working very hard with city staff to try and figure out ways of financing legitimate city costs, like for development charges, etc. And we needed that information to make that all work. And we, we simply ran out of time. Um, so we, the other day, we finally realized we'd have to extend it, and, and we did. Um, I want to disabuse anybody of the notion, uh, I was asked by the Bull and Mail yesterday, whether or not this was linked to the casino project. It is not linked to the casino project. It's not factored into our thinking. Uh, that's a decision for city council. Uh, the city is directed the city manager to come back in the fall with a report. It's available online if you want to see the, 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 uh, the council decision. And uh, we've not been uh, relying on any work that we were doing. We've been saying that that is a city council decision that they'll arrive at in another way. Um, we've been making some progress, I think. I hope you'll uh, agree with that when you see our work tonight. We're still um, very much committed to receiving your feedback. It's, it's enriched the process so far, and we made some adjustments based on the comments that we've heard. I want to emphasize, too, that we're relying on the existing planning framework in the central waterfront plan. There's no change expected there. It's the guiding document for the result revitalization of the port lands. You're going to see tonight that we've uh, confirmed that the preferred alternative 4WS for the dot mouth with some minor modifications uh, that we've been discussing with you and continue to look at, and consistent with the terms of reference of the existing EA, is the most cost-effective op option for providing flood protection and renaturalization of the Dawn lands and the flood protection of the South Riverdale area as well. Uh, the big uh, movement here is we confirm that the Realign 4WS can be phased, we'll go through this, and, and it can be phased in more phases than the original. And it can be implemented over time, so the upfront costs of doing this can be mitigated and reduced or set, set over time. And that will reduce the budgetary pressures for getting started with some areas of the Portlands that uh, we would be unable to do today. Uh, we confirm that open space is a key component of the Portlands. We've got more work to do to visualize that and plan out the naturalization. But it is a shared objective of all the parties at the table. And we could continue to work on that. So this extra little bit of time will help us to do some of that work and demonstrate our commitment to that. And we're getting a better understanding of the costs and revenues associated with the revitalization of the Portlands. And we are starting the discussion of who should be responsible for the costs. Through the consultations, we've discovered that the private sector is prepared to burden some, or shoulder some of the burden on the costs. And uh, that debate and discussion continues, and we welcome the input of the landowners and the developers in the area as to what their share could and would be. Uh, working with city staff to define that as well. So where are we now? We're working towards a framework, framework for the Portlands report uh, with options for phase implementation based on market demands and budget constraints and includes a robust open space component. We've confirmed that Port WS can be realigned consistent, realigned consistent with the terms of reference and phased. And we've just 
the, we divided the port lands because of its size into precincts. And you'll see that tonight. It's an instructive way to look at how we would phase development in an orderly way. And it helps us to break down the costs. Uh, and we're going to continue to work on those costs, as, as I said, over the summer. Um, finally, uh, the Council direct, directed us in the September and October report that we do a peer review of the business plan. We've been unable to do that yet. We will be doing that as part of our work this summer. And um, I hope you will share our enthusiasm for the progress we're making and we'll offer some further comments that will help us see uh, things uh, develop in terms of a naturalized um, Don Mouth, Don Mouth and uh, development that we can all be proud of. So uh, thank you and I look forward to your comments. And uh, I'm going to now introduce David Kasturnan, who is the uh, lead on this uh, tonight's presentation. People, this is your first Portlands meeting here tonight. So we have some new folks, so welcome. And I will assume the rest of you have been to either the first round or the second round with us earlier. So our job here tonight is to help you have a good meeting, um, both you and the project team as well. And so we'll be focusing our discussions on the Portlands. And I do want to keep us on time and get you out of here by 9 o'clock. It's a beautiful evening and I don't want to keep you past 9 tonight, which is our, which is our scheduled departure time. We'll also be pre preparing a report on tonight's meeting as we've done for the first two uh, public consultations in uh, earlier in April and back in December 2011. So as, as you probably have gathered, the meeting is being hosted by Waterfront Toronto and the City. And also the third uh, uh, organization who's hosting tonight is the Toronto Region and Conservation Authority. This is the third round of consultation. Uh, as you just heard, it's not the last. There will be another public meeting in the summer. Um, so we'll look forward to you continuing to participate in the process. If you turn to your agenda, I'll just walk you quickly through the, the format for tonight. The real purpose of tonight's meeting is to, uh, for the project team to really check in. They've uh, taken it so far as John has said, uh, to come up with sort of what we're calling current findings and directions and recommendations. So they want to bounce those off of you tonight and get your initial feedback. And there will be time to massage those and incorporate the input going forward uh, through the, the summer public meeting as well. So that's the purpose of tonight is to show you kind of three quarters of a work in progress. Uh, in just a minute, there will be a presentation by David Kusterin of Waterfront Toronto. He has about a 30 minute presentation and we have 15 minutes after for questions of clarification. And then we have some facilitated discussions. We have you at small tables and for about half an hour, we'll ask you to think about the two focus questions that are on your agenda. And they're quite simple. What do you think about the current findings and recommendations? And do you have any suggested refinements to the current findings and recommendations? So what do you think about what you've heard? And what would you change, essentially, are the two questions that we'll be asking you at the roundtables. And we'll be in the roundtables for a fairly short period of time, about half an hour, and then we'll have a full group discussion with some highlights from the roundtables and some additional comments and questions, if there are any that are hanging over from the short question and answer period after the presentation. And then we'll have wrap up the next steps around 8.50 and we'll have you out of here by 9 o'clock. Um, we are webcasting as well. Uh, so there is a video camera in the center of the room, so I'll just point that out. If you're camera shy, please don't walk past and do shadow puppets. It, it will be broadcast on someone's computer. So a special hello to our folks who have joined us by the webcast. Uh, they will be participating in tonight's meeting as well. Um, and we'll give folks who are on the web a little bit of instruction a little bit later on when we get to the roundtable discussions. Uh, so next up is the presentation, and as I said, it takes about 30 minutes. Uh, I'd like to ask David Gusteren, he's the Chief Ex uh, Operating Officer with Waterfront Hall, to share his presentation with you on behalf of the project team. Uh, he has about 30 minutes. I'm going to ask you if you can hold your questions until the end. We will have quite the time for questions and 